Hi everybody, thank you for joining me here at Shanna Sweets. I appreciate you purchasing this online class for beautiful balloons. This is an awesome class full um, of celebrating anything, birthdays, whatever you'd like to celebrate. And in this class, you're gonna get lots of goodies. We have um, half a pack of VSP and I, have it already kind of oh I have it enclosed but you get the um, bright beautiful and bright DSP half a pack you're going to get one core um, half a sheet so it's 6 by 12 of the three pay, um, pieces of uh, golden celebration and then you get um, half a pack of cards so these cards and bases will be what we make our cards with You'll still have a couple, even if you make two each, um, of being able to um, do something else. You will have your uh, card, your pack, your card kit right here, um, and for all six projects. You will also have a roll of triple col combo ribbon and some these beautiful shakers and then I will add one pack one like I don't know what you call it but one portion of these foam strips to make a shaker card with plus the PDF tutorial to make these cards Alrighty, we're using the colors Lemon Lime, Berry Burst, and Azure Afternoon for our inks. You will need some adhesive, so either, um, well, we do need tear and tape for the uh, shaker card, glue dots, wet glue, whatever you like. And let's start um, with the first one on your PDF. For some reason, the PDF did printed weird, but you have all three pages. So we're going to start with this card right here. And um, it's using the pink base. And then um, we're going to put a little bit of extra inside. So we're going to start with stamping this um, like ribbon strip and we're going to start with the blue on the outside. So just find the outside of your card here. Make sure you wipe your, I'm just using a baby wipe or you can use a chamois. And then we're going to go to the green. And um, I'm going to stagger it just a little bit. Wipe it again. And last but not least, if I didn't say so, I am using the beautiful balloons stamp set. You will need this bundle it does come with dies because you will need to be able to cut out your um, items I will provide you this cardstock for the items to cut out so that is our card base then we are going to use you need a label to stamp your sentiment on and we're going to do the happy birthday. This is in bubble bath. I mean, the label is in bubble bath, so this berry burst pops right off of it. And then we're also going to stamp some little dots. We have stars. You're going to want to cut out a pink one and a green one. Um some confetti <coughs> all right 
right, so what we're going to do here is take our lemon lime on this little confetti stamp. Okay, we're gonna take the little dots. There's one that's got like a bunch of little dots and that's what we're gonna use to stamp. Just randomly the lemon lime to cover our star. Wipe it off and do it again with the blue. And then one more time in the berry. Might help if you had scratch paper so you don't mark on your desk. Then we're going to take the little, um, I don't know, streamers. And I'm going to do those in pink. The nice thing is that you can see, so you can either stamp it and then cut it, or cut it and then stamp it. Either way, it works. Now we can put it together. Um, so, let's see here. This is our little strip of gold confetti and it measures one and a half by four inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little strip of bubble bath. It's like a quarter of an inch by four. And we're going to line it right on the top of our gold. And then we're going to put on the sides and then you want to do this before you lay it down so then that way you can put glue dots. So then I can take my glue dots and I'm going to use, I got the Zacto that comes in one of the tools and I'm just going to layer the dots along the top. And then I'm going to layer the dots on the bottom of where that confetti is. Then I can put it at the bottom of my card. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is take my Zacto here, right next to the same spot where that pink is. I'm going to just like put a slice. And take some pink ribbon. Slide it through the hole. And then you can decide which side you want your bow on. I'm going to put my bow, I think, on this side. Put a block there for a minute. And 
and trim your ribbon. I always like to take another glue dot and make sure that my ribbon stays the way I want it to. Because I want my at least one side to go down a little bit. Then I can take some dimensionals or you can use the foam strips, whichever you have handy, which I guess is what I'm going to have handy because I can't find my dimensionals. And before we put it down, I've given you a piece of twine. Run that through the hole on the tag. Then you can put your tag, and I'm going to go over just a wee bit more, because I don't want my bow to, and then I'm just going to tie this one into a bow over here. I'm going to go ahead and just trim that shorter, because it does not want to lay flat. All right. Now, you want to tuck. I should probably have put that down first, but that's okay. It's going to fit right there. And then I can put a little glue on the top to hold it in place. Then I'm going to put some star, my stars down. So, put one at the top. Um, I think these two, I'm going to go ahead and put, pop them up just a little bit. That's not going to work. I got some little ones here. Actually, let's put the pink one in the middle. And put the blue one down here by this label. All right, that's card number one. Isn't that super great for probably more of a girl than a boy, but you still could give it to a boy, I guess. Card number two, and you got this beautiful little uh, card base to go with it. Card number two, we're going to use the multicolored card base. And then you have, you want to cut out this um, big try, and then you're going to cut out of here one of your balloons. which I forgot to do. So you have to decide, let's see, we're gonna stamp this one. So we want the balloon that goes down there. Okay, so we're gonna have that one for there. And we're gonna take first this, here's this, um, we want the great big balloon first. So there's two parts to this. There's one with confetti, and then there's a solid one. So we're gonna take the solid one first, ink it up real good, and then stamp it on a piece of scratch paper. And then we will stamp it in the middle. So it's a light tone. Then take your one with all the sprinklies, confettis, ink that in the, the blue Azra color. And that gives us some sprinkles, right? 
Then we will do the solid one right over the edge of that one, just like that. Then you can apply a little dimensionals to your small balloon. Just like that. And then let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment while we're stamping on this banner. I think you have a rectangle so you can just trim your edges into it to make a banner. Of course, you just go down the middle and then angle and this one we're going to I think it's time for celebration everybody loves the celebration right so um, this blue here is three and a half no three and a quarter by five and a quarter and this one we're going to take the confetti so it's a little bit different. It's got little streamers. And we're just going to go along, kind of turning it back and forth. Actually, yeah, because we're going to put some DSP over the middle. Okay, so before we put this down on our card base, you're going to take your label that's got just like a half an inch scored. We're going to put a little piece of tear and tape. Fold it and put that at the top of our card. Then I don't want that going anywhere, so I'm going to put some more tear and tape. Just to make sure my thing doesn't slip on me. And this will go at the top of our card. Alright, then pick whatever DSP you want. I'm going to use the green one here on this one. Okay, so pick whatever DSP you want. Um, this one I'm picking green. This one here I picked um, that piece that I just cut my balloon out of. And put that down the middle. And then your um, label is going to go down below the flap, so like thereabouts. All right, and then you're gonna take the green and just tie a little bow. It's kind of yellowish. Now, you definitely want to put a glue dot under this one because it's going to roll around downward. So then that way it is very secure and it wouldn't hurt to put one more in the back just to be safe that this is not going to go anywhere. All right. And if I don't trim them better, 
Then you can attach your balloons. I don't know if I... So on this one, um, sorry, um, you can put some of the little shakers like I'm going to put here because I forgot. So let's just do them both. So I'm going to open my shakers, hopefully without spilling any. And what I do is just take a little bit of glue. Well, that was a little bit big, but we'll just... Do that and then use the end of the Zacto knife. The wet glue will dry, so you really won't see it, even though I got that one a little bit um, big. There's like a bunch of these, thankfully. So then we can put a couple. There I got two, so we'll just leave that together. All right, I'm going to gently move this to the side so it can draw. And we will move on to card number three. See, this one I put them all on the single balloon, but not the other one. So you can change it up, do it however you like. Card number three is, what did I do with, no, oh, I didn't use any of the gold on that card. So we're going to use it on this one. And this one, you want to make your layer before you put it down. So, your gold is four, your gold celebration is four by five and a quarter. And then what we're going to do is you're going to take this label die that is in your kit and you're going to cut with the die. Um, this die right here, you just lay that on here a couple times and it will cut that out for you. And then what I'm gonna do, which I guess I can use wet glue still, just be careful, don't get too crazy with it. I'm gonna put a little bit here and there, and I'm gonna put this at the side, like that first. And let's see, you're going to have, we're going to stamp on this one and this one. I'm going to let that glue dry just a little bit. So I'm going to take my solid and I'm going to ink it up in the berry. Okay, you have this big white label and we're going to ink up our big balloon. Stamp it off on a piece of scratch paper, and then you can stamp it on your white. Make sure you give it a good smush, and then take that confetti stamp and ink that one up in the berry burst, 
and line try to line it up in the middle and that gives you some speckles Then you want to take the string Here we go. I'm going to ink that in the berry burst and I'm going to put the loopity loop towards the top just like that. And then you should cut out a little you want to cut out a little um streamer and I believe I gave you bubble that has adhesive on it so that way when you cut it out you will be like that don't have blue on your fingers or it might get on the that's okay then what we're going to do for our sentiment is we're going to stamp on this oval So thrilled for you. Then we're going to glue right down the middle our berry burst oval. And then this is going to go on our label just like that then we can take our piece back that we have here go ahead and put some glue and angle that up a little bit higher and then put some glue on the middle of this one and we're going to put that down at the bottom then what you can do is take your glue and put it where the cardstock is at and that will go on our pink card base just like that give it a good smush we're gonna make a pink bow with our ribbon, just tie a little bow. Just like that. I think I'll make it kind of short because I don't want a great big string there. Then take a glue dot to your ribbon at least one maybe even two just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and then that is going to go right here at the side then we'll do what we did I'm gonna put it right here over my I'm gonna put two really close together there and then we'll put some here in our balloon and I feel like maybe we'll go down here too. All right, then we can grab our little circles here. They are a little pesky to put down, but they make it look so cute.
And don't worry, if you get the glue just a little too much, it'll be fine because it will dry. All right, there's card number three. All right, now the shaker. Oh, <coughs> I'm sorry, let's do the inside. I did the inside of this one. You're gonna take a piece of Berry Burst because I wanted to be able to put DSP on here so line it up almost to the edge, and then your this DSP, which um, is on the PDF, it is, oh, I'm sorry, this acetate was six by four, and then I forgot, these cards are not normal, um, they're like six and a quarter, so. That is the inside. Now the shaker card. Yay, it's like the favoritist, right? What you need for this card is a piece of acetate. This is going to be three and a half by five and a quarter. And we're going to adhere it to this um, misty moonlight. Then you wanna take the fringe die and cut you out a little fringe because we're going to use that and then you want to cut out some balloons and a star and I just use DSP for my balloons and then my star is out of cardstock and that one is going to get I think I'm going to put I did the first one I did a different sentiment this time I'm gonna go yay you on it because there's like two sentiments that fit this so so the first one I'm going to do you can either do sticky tape or yeah let's do sticky tape I don't want that this thing to shift around so I'm gonna use some tear and tape here so we're gonna go across the top, across the bottom. Now the way I cut these with the deckled, it's a little bit um, cockeyed. That was on purpose to give it some depth. So you don't have to have the tape. Not this one for the um, acetate, it doesn't have to be completely I am going to put one more piece in this corner though because and if you go over the edge just lift your tape up the paper and then you can fold it back So take all the tapes off. Don't stick yourself to it. And then put your acetate on it. Now, if you happen to cut it just a little bit too big, like I did right there, then you can just take your scissors and trim it. I just always try to trim it inside. Like if you can get up under there just a little. Don't trim your paper, whatever you do. All right, there we go. 
oh, we got a little bit down here too. Maybe I kept my square a little smaller than I realized. So once you have your acetate on your, this is where you're going to take your foam strips and it doesn't hurt to take a paper towel or something and make sure that you got all the static off of there. So then take your foam strips and these actually do bend so you can, you don't have to cut it, you can just bend it then you can just trim it and then I'm going to use the pink one I think this time doesn't matter you can use the multi-colored one or the pink one and I want to know I'm gonna put this like right up here so I'm gonna layer me a whole bunch of these circles and these things go a long way Put my thing there so I can take my tape centers off. And then put, make sure you give it a very good smush before you move these guys around or they will get underneath your foam strip. Okay, so make sure before you start doing that, that it is all touched down good. Then we can take our glue. Oh, I'm going to put some glue on my... this guy right here which I didn't need that much of it so let me I really don't want glue on those scissors so we're gonna trim this to the same and then we're gonna take a piece of blue ribbon and I'm just gonna trim it pretty close and then use my glue dot to secure it underneath because um, I didn't want all that bulk with my foam strip so I'm just going to cover my edge if you put the little glue dot on the end of your then I can tuck it to the back down there just like that and we'll do the other side you can wrap this around there, but it's it does kind of impede your um, ability to stick it very well. So I'm just going to take and tuck it underneath my fringe. All right. Then I can take some glue and put my balloons down. And my um, double check your star might have adhesive because I wanted it to be able to stick so that's just gonna go down at the bottom 
And then I went ahead and stamped inside. So that one's going to be in the red. And this one, I want to stamp off though on the blue because I don't want it that dark. I want the red to stand out. So I'm going to stamp the blue first and then I'm going to take the red one a little bit darker. And that is our shaker card. Now our box. So this is our final project. And I do have the measurements. Yours has been scored, but it is on your instructions on the back page that you want to make this box. We're going to take this is five and a half by eight and a half scored at a quarter, one and a quarter this way and one and a quarter this way. And then this one we are scoring at three and five eighths and four and seven eighths. And then what we're going to do is take our scissors and cut cut, 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 so that you have now this piece. So it will come like this and make our box. So I'm going to take some tear and tape. I'm going to put this on the outside pieces and what I'm going to do is let's see yeah so I'm going to try to get these guys here are going to go my box my flaps are going to go to the inside and then my little flaps here are going to go on the outside first right then I can take, I'm just going to go ahead and put just a layer right there inside the inside portion. Then this can fold up and go over our end pieces so you won't see them. Then you will have two green pieces, and these guys are all right. So then you have two deckled pieces, and they are going to go in the front like this and the back alright you're going to take this die cut which is your triple balloon and we are going to stamp um, our big balloon and we're just going to do it solid this time so no stamping off just stamp it right in the middle because we're going to put a piece of I got it stuck in my balloon using the big balloon die I've cut out some and that's going to go right there but first we want to stamp our blue, which I'm going to stamp off again this time so that it can go right there on our middle one. That will let us put our two layers. I should have a little one too. All right, so let's, I'm gonna glue this one, which is some DSP, which is a little bit darker this time, but do whatever you like. Then this one is going to get popped up.
just like that. And I do want a piece of DSP. All right, taking a piece of DSP, this is two and a half by three and three quarters. That's gonna go on the front. And then I'm going to wrap some blue ribbon around the entire, oh. You wanna put that on both sides. All right, so we want to put the ribbon, the paper on both sides of our box. And then we want the side, so this is going to be the back where the, box, where the um, sides are coming up. So we're going to take our blue. And tie a bow. Maybe you guys know how to get it to lay better, but I just never seem to get my bows to lay right. So glue dots are my best friend. So we're going to tuck our balloon underneath that bow. I'm gonna put some glue on that one. And then I can put add some to this part too. That way I know it's under on the box, but not on the part sticking out, right? And then you have this little label, and we're going to stamp happy birthday. So then we can put a little present in here. Okay, so we're gonna stamp happy birthday on our label. To the side and then this one can get popped up also and I want it to this sticky to be all on this side because I'm going to trim it to be even with my box now I can fill it with a cutie for somebody so that is our five projects. We have our box, which now I have two. We have um, shaker cards, and I got one that says yay you, and one that says you did it. We have our pink, so thrilled for you. Some more birthday cards, and another flip. So thank you guys for bearing with me. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will share some celebration with some of your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.